The Drift by Stanford Lab, where our researchers answer your giant science questions in bite-sized videos. Submit your questions via direct message on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Hello, I'm David Vardaman for Stanford Underground Research Facility, The Drift. I'm the facility's geotechnical engineer, and recently I was asked the question, how big is it underground? Well, one way to look at this is that there are 56 individual levels from the collar all the way down to the 8,000 foot level, spaced about 150 feet apart. There are many miles of drifts on all those levels. If you, matter of fact, if you added up all of that was mileage, you would end up with almost 400 miles of total drift underground. Now the footprint or distribution of all those drifts is about five miles north to south, about three miles east to west, and about a mile and a half deep from the collar all the way down to the 8,000 foot level. But the individual drifts on each of those levels is about a nine foot wide by nine foot tall for the most part. There are some a little larger than that. The current cavern space that we use for science is fairly small, about 60 to 70 feet long, 30, 40 foot wide, about 30 foot tall. But these facilities in many cases are cleaner than a surgical ward in a hospital. So it doesn't remind you of an underground environment at all. Now we intend to start in 2021 through 2024 to excavate much larger caverns. These will be pushing almost 600 feet long, 70 foot wide, and 90 foot tall. So a much larger science space coming in the near future. I'm David Bartman for The Drift.